After scrolling on your For You page for too long again, you start seeing more and more edits with this smooth 3D shattering effect. I wanna make an edit with this, do you think? So you open up After Effects and start editing. Until you realize that you don't know how to do it. If only there was someone who could show me. Today I will show you step by step how to make this 3D shattering effect so you can start going viral. First, you need to have your clip ready and we're gonna start by adding our text. So head to the top to your text tool and then click onto your composition to type your text. Once you edit your text, we're gonna make a solid layer. So head to the top and click on layer. Select new and then click on solid. Make sure to leave all these settings and then press on OK. Once our screen is covered with the color, we're gonna go to effects and presets and search for the element effect. If you can't find this effect in your After Effects, you can download it from the Discord server in the description. Drag the effect onto the top layer, which is the solid, and this should make our text visible again. To make our text 3D, we're gonna use this element effect. So go to your effects controls and open up the custom layers. Then click on custom text and masks. And for the path layer one, instead of none, select the text that we just created. Now click on to where it says scene setup in the very top. And in here, we'll open open up a whole new window. As you can see, our preview is currently empty and to get our text inside this preview, we're gonna head to the top and click on extrude. Now, if we look at our text, you can see it already has a 3D shape. And to make it look a bit cooler, we can use presets inside our element effect. To access the presets, click onto the preset button right here and then open up bevels. Click on physical and in here you have a lot of choice. My personal favorite is the bold one. If you wanna use it, just double click onto it and you will get a preview in here as well. If you don't want your text to be pink because you're a skibbity sigma male, you can open up the extrusion model on the right and then click onto the shiny light. And here you can scroll down and then for the illumination, select whatever color you want. For example, a nice and manly blue. And here you can also change loads of other settings, for example, the size of your text and whatever you want. Once you adjusted all the settings to fit your expectations, you can press on OK in the top right corner. And now our 3D text should appear in our main composition, as you can see right here. First, we're gonna disable the original text layer by just clicking onto this window. Make sure you keep this though and don't delete it. To add an animation to our 3D text, we can go back to our effects controls and click the group one. Next, open particle look and then multi object. Click onto the check mark that says enable multi object and in here you can change the size, you can change the rotation, whatever you want to change about your text. The animation I mostly use is just the normal rotation, so we'll set a keyframe for the X rotation and put the value to negative 90. Then press U on your keyboard and go ahead a few frames. Set a second keyframe but this time put the value down to zero and to make the animation look a bit cooler we're gonna select both the keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant and then hit easy ease. By clicking onto this window right here which is a graph editor we can then change the speed in which our animation is happening. What I like to do most is clicking onto it and then dragging the bottom handle up like this. Another effect I like to use is the particle size. So go to the very beginning and set a keyframe. Make it a bit smaller and then go to where you want the animation to be finished. Put it back up to 10, press U and I like to use the same graph we applied for the rotation as well. So it has a nice unity. To do that, again, select both the keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant and then hit easy ease. Open the graph editor and again, drag the bottom handle up. Obviously there's so many different settings that we can use with this text, but showing you all of them would take a bit too long. So I suggest you experiment with your own values. But my personal favorites are the X rotation, random rotation and X displacement. Let's get to the interesting part you've been waiting for, which is adding the shatter animation. Before we edit, we have to decide where we want the shatter animation to start. And in my case, I want my text to be appearing and about here I want my animation to start. And what I'm gonna do now is once I'm at that place in time, I can select my layer and then press Ctrl, Shift and D to cut it. Now we should have two text layers, one at the top and one at the bottom. Right click onto the top one and then select pre-compose. Make sure the bottom two options are selected and then press on OK. Why we do this is pretty simple. Once we apply the shatter effect to our layer, it's instantly gonna start shattering. And because we want our animation to play before it starts shattering, we're gonna have to delay it by splitting our layer. So in my case, my shattering will start once this top layer begins playing. Now to add the animation, we're gonna go back to our effects and presets panel and this time search for shatter. By the way, you don't necessarily have to add this effect to a 3D text layer. You can also add it to a clip or just a normal text. But once you found the effect, drag it onto the top layer we just pre-composed. And as you can see, it will look something like this. And to get rid of this ugly look, we're gonna go to the view under our effects control and change it from wireframe to forces to rendered. Now your text should be back appearing and if we play ahead you can see our text will be shattering shortly after. If your preview is loading slow like mine you can also put the resolution from full to quarter. Even though we have the base animation done now it doesn't really look that smooth and to make it look better we have to change some settings. Start by opening the shape and put a pattern from bricks to glass. Then open the physics and here we're gonna put our mass variance from 30% down to zero and our gravity from 3 to 10. What that changes it basically makes our text fall straight down instead of spread out all over the screen. And then lastly, to have our text shatter into more pieces, we're gonna put the repetitions from 10 up to 50. And now most importantly, you have to add a good color correction. As you can see, adding a good color correction can increase the look of your edit immensely. So if you wanna get the exact color correction I use to make my edits look the best as possible, make sure to check the first link in the description because I'm currently still running a huge opportunity in my shop. You can get up to 70% of the presets that I use to make my edits look the best as possible. And it's super easy to use, literally just takes one click. Limited time offer. And once that's done, you can now render your edit 
it. If this tutorial helped you, you have to subscribe. I would also appreciate a like and make sure to check out my private community using the second link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. <laughs>